Hello all. Have you used any large language models yet? I bet you must have. For example, ChatGPT, Anthropic Cloud, and there are many options available there. You know what is common in them? All of them will feel magical. You know, you send a prompt, you get some answers from them. Have you ever wondered what exactly is happening behind the scene? This is where this course comes into picture. We are launching a new course called as a Dream LLM, building large language from scratch. Yes, you heard me right, from scratch. Everyone today is using AI, but very few understand how it works. You are calling the APIs, you are doing the prompt engineering, you are sending the request and getting the response back. You know, you are considering this as a black box. So API will make you the user, but fundamentals will make you an engineer. That's a major difference. Understanding internal mechanics or building it from the first principle or creating a new capabilities is what we are targeting in this course. We have seen that if you do not understand the internals, you will be dependent on a tool. Meaning, if you face some challenges, you have to find out what exactly the problem here is by literally copy pasting the solutions what others have done. Now, because you do not know what is happening behind the scene, you cannot pinpoint the problem and you cannot find a solution. It's like when your car breaks down, you have to bring this car to a mechanic who understands why the problem is and where the problem is and pinpoint the problem and find a solution. This is what we want you to do right now. Understand what exactly happens in LLM so you can find out the problems. In this case, in this course rather, we are going to focus on the first principles. There is no magic, means we do not just copy paste the code, we do not work on the black boxes, we'll understand every single component. We're going to open this LLM and we'll see small parts and we'll see what exactly do they do and why do they do what, what is required for them to do. You know, in this particular case, we'll not copy paste the code from any of the websites. We will write every single line of code from scratch, including the math. So this course is based on the first principle. We are going to build our LLM from scratch, step by step. Now, what are you going to do with this, this course? You, at the end of this course, you will think like an LLM engineer, not like an LLM user. Here, you will understand how LLM works internally from literally tokenization to the text generation. Here, you are going to build your own transformer based model, not like we are going to use existing model and fine tune it. No, we are going to start from scratch. In this case, we will not just know what exactly the components are doing, but also we will know why they are there, what exactly the functionality do they perform. So here, we just do not fine tune the existing model. We are going to do it from scratch. We are going to create it from scratch. This course is divided into four different parts. In the first part, we'll be focusing on the foundation. We'll start with the missing Python, which is required later for PyTorch. Then we'll go for a very important point. It's called as a math intuition. The entire LLM, it's not a magic. It is just the math plus design. So you need to understand the math behind it. So you understand why and how exactly the LLM works. So we'll understand vertices, matrices, their, their calculations, uh, something like the similarity, embeddings, uh, you know, the dot products and whatnot. There are many things that we'll have to see here. We'll have to focus here. Once you understand that, we'll go for the framework that we'll be using and that is PyTorch. In this entire course, we'll be using only one single framework called the PyTorch, nothing else. Only PyTorch is more than sufficient for us to get our LLM built from scratch. So once the foundation is done, we'll move on to the second part. Here, we'll understand how LLM works from text to the prediction. In a sense, we'll focus on one of the most important concepts of LLM, tokenization. Machine cannot see what you see. Machine cannot understand what you understand. Machine understands only numbers, numeric data. So where the tokenization comes into picture. So we'll understand tokenization. We'll write our own tokenizer. We'll go for embeddings. We'll go for understanding different models like the oldest, n-gram, or to the newest, the large language models. Or you can call them as the simple DLL or deep learning network. In this case, we'll understand the core engine. How exactly do they do? Once we understand this, we'll move on to the next part, the core philosophy of any LLM today. This is a T in the GPT. So T in the GPT stands for transformer. And the transformer is the backbone of almost all LLMs today. This is where we'll understand what is a transformer, what is its architecture, what is encoder, decoder, 
सेल्फ अटेंशन मैकेनिज्म मल्टी हेड मैकेनिज्म पोजिशनल इनकोडिंग एंड वॉट नॉट देर आर मेनी थिंग्स दैट वी हैव टू सी एंड वी हैव टू बिल्ड एवरी थिंग फ्रॉम स्क्रैच एज आई मैंशन अटेंशन इज नॉट अ मैजिंग एल एल एम इज नॉट अ मैजिंग इट जस्ट प्योर मैथ प्लस डिजाइन once we assume but once we see all of these small pieces together in the last part we are going to bring them together and work like a single unit and we'll call this as llm so our llm will start getting its shape in the last part of this course where we'll start sending some data means we are going to fine tune our llm and we'll start asking llm the prompts and the llm will start giving us the answer so this is the last part where your llm will start giving you the answers generating the text now who this course is for this course is for those who are seeking to learn fundamentals this course is for those who are going to enter in the ai field this course is for those who want to explore the iceberg not want to settle on the tip of the iceberg by the way this course is not for those who are looking for prompt engineering who want to use llm This is not a prompt engineering course. Let me mind let me remind you that this is not a prompt engineering course. We are not going to learn anything about the prompts here. We are going to build our LLM from scratch. So this course rewards curiosity, not the shortcuts. And this uh, this line fascinates me, you know. In the field that evolves this fast, only fundamentals will survive. They are the only anchors. Models will change, frameworks will change, you know. Our SOTA today is going to be replaced with something else. What's not going to change? Are your first principles, your fundamentals, and that's why we are urging you to learn the fundamentals here. So once you understand fundamentals, you can build your own LLM. So let's start building LLM, moving from using LLM to building them. You know, don't just ask AI question. Learn how AI answers them, so that you can learn many things in future and stay updated in this field. Thank you, guys. I'll see you in the course. Bye bye.